Hi, beautiful friends. I took the day off yesterday from recording, but I was still crocheting. Yesterday, I completed only one item, but it was one item made out of sparkle yarn. Remember? Look at that bling on that. It's so gorgeous. I opted out for making a big mouth for this because he's kind of like, mm. <laughs> you know, that's kind of how I was feeling yesterday. So I'm still in a poopy vibe. I was trying to clean up just a little bit. I re-caked a bunch of leftover yarns. They're all going to be poop. Anyway, long story short, while I was cleaning up this section over here, I found unicorn farts. Of course, unicorn farts gotta be made ice cream scoop or poop, whichever one you want to call it. So that's what I'm doing. And for this one, I don't know why, but I grabbed the first eyes in the package that's close to me put them all in the bag <laughs> but the red eyes literally red eyes excitement tone it down girlfriend tone it down all right anyway long story short i kind of like the double looping of the the thread you can kind of like poke it out and make it I don't know it you could tell he's making like a <laughs> leave me alone woman but these eyeballs are pretty cool and there's only one stopper so they're attached and if you spin it around this way he's like uh what but then he, you turn this way, he's more like, mm, what? <laughs> I'm telling you, these things give me joy. I don't know why, but they do. And the smaller the yarn, the smaller the poops. Those up there are all with four weight, but it is what it is. So I'm going to put these back up here with all his friends. And I'm going to get to unicorn poop scoops, a scoop, unicorn scoops. I don't know. A unicorn fart scoops. This is the hand spun hand dyed. I don't know if she dyed it or not. I can't remember. But Crystal hooked that yarn, gifted me this along with her unicorn poops which she hand spun and dyed for me too and I made it into this Tunisian uh, headband which is still a little tight but it fits let me try well it kind of fits no it doesn't fit I just have to force it down I know this is going to give me a headache but yeah this is probably for uh, somebody with a smaller head. Maybe a baby will fit it. But yeah, this is the Tunisian headband that everybody was making when Michael was doing it. Oh, that really hurt. <laughs> but I do love headbands. This is my headband that I made with a single crochet moss stitch with a uh, queen hands dyed yarn by Daniel the Paul Ply guy I'm telling you these turban headbands are my light are my jam anyway long story short let's get this thing going because it is almost two o'clock VJ will be coming on I did schedule a live for 6 p.m. Central Standard Time today I hope to see you there We'll probably make another 
Miranda poops. Who knows? But I'm going to work on, work on this. I am catching the replay of Dory did it. Cause she did a, a yarn stash auction sale type thing. I thought that was pretty clever. I don't know. I might have to do something like that too. To help clear out this room and make some room for Miss Alaska. I mean, she has a little corner over there by herself. But for the most part, she likes to sleep at the doorway. She's got this nice big bed, which I can take a nap on if I needed to. But yeah, long story short, I keep saying yeah. I'll have to organize first. Just watching some of the video last night before I fell asleep. It was very organized. I need to get organized before I do that, like put stuff in cotton, acrylic, hand dyed. I don't know if I want to give away my hand, well not give away, but sell my hand dyed. But I have a lot of things that honestly I haven't touched in almost two years, but I keep buying more. I know. Hi, my name is Sunita and I have a problem. The first step is admitting, right? But it's not a problem because I get to play with yarn. Now I get to play with yarn. But yeah, so it's a sleep on it. You guys let me know if that's something you'd be interested in. You know, would you like to buy my sash? Let me know. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in the streets while I work in the bushes while I run the streets of the YouTubes. Oh, she fell asleep. She's breathing all heavy. Alaska, you don't want to sleep on your bed, Mama? You guys are up on a contraption, so normally I can just swing the phone that way to show you. But you're all attached. You're charging right now. You just stay there. You would think I would memorize this by now. I still need to look at my paper. I was crocheting with the tail instead of the yarn working yarn. See, I can't record and video, I mean, and crochet at the same time. Multitasking is not there.
like it. How cute. I did have to restart it. And actually focused on counting. But I got row 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 done. Now I'm going to go to row 7, which is a, a decrease. I'm kind of memorizing it. I mean, you make plenty of it, right? This yarn is so soft. I have to find the tag for this. Okay, so with me starting over like multiple times, you have to start over. You have to start about three times before you get it going. Anyway, long story short, I started at 2. It is 245. I got the first two sections done. Look at how cute that is. I'm going to put the eyeballs in and then I'm going to take a break because I have to... Take Alaska out. She woke up from her nap, so now she's gotta go potty. At least I have to take her outside because otherwise she'll hold it. And right now she's trying to get over a yeast infection. So you, you ladies know how it is. You gotta go or you get sick. And I don't need her to get any more sick than she already is. So yeah. Let's see how these red eyes look. So the beginning is here. I like to stick it right in the back or the front. Front, back, whatever. You can't even really tell the red. Actually, you can. And I just stick it wherever it feels right. That's what she said. Stop. Okay. So yeah. There it is. I don't know. Look at it's already got like a dip in the mouth. So I'm gonna follow that. Maybe I will put the mouth on this section because normally I put the mouth on the third half. But I, I'm kind of liking where this little mouth is telling me where it wants to be. See, your yarn does talk to you. I'm going to put the backs on. And then I'll put the mouth on. And I'm going to get this show on the road. After I let Alaska out. Because my VJ comes on at 3. And... Uh, I'll probably finish this off while watching her. You did you hear it click? This is so stinking cute. I have some white scraps here. Perfect. Is going back. Look at the little beach one. And her 
scar is healed. Okay, girlfriend, go. See? She just sit here. You have to go pee pee. Let's not show everything. Look at look at the river. Good job, girlfriend. Uh, you're gonna go try to go number two. No. All right, guys. Alaska, come on. Let's walk over this way. Okay, there you have it. Unicorn poops or scoops. Unicorn scoops. The only thing I did differently is I forgot to do the back loop only. So it's really, it's like a little snowman. I don't know, it's, this is cute. And I still have all of this left. So maybe I'll make more. Unicorn farts, scoops, complete. So thank you all for hanging out with me tonight and I hope to see you guys live. I'll be live at 6 p.m. Central Standard Time today. Tomorrow might be a different story depending on how Alaska does on her radiation. We'll take it one day at a time, guys. So, love yourself so you can love everyone else. Have a good night. Take care. Bye.